Hey guys, it's Sunny Barati from CoachMatevdins.com. Today I'm going to cover the forehand topspin, but in terms of backswing. Uh, one of the uh, people who watched my videos asked me to explain or give examples or tips into how he should bring the arm back. He struggles to bring the arm back when he, when he plays his forehand and generally plays the forehand starting from here. Therefore, he's not generating a lot of energy on the ball, a lot of power and spin and speed. So we're going to uh, look carefully into how we can develop the backswing on the forehand topspin. Tip number one, grab a box, any box approximately 30 centimeters wide and you want to hold it like this. This will help you to have a backswing motion. So what I would like you to try and do an exercise of holding the box and swinging back towards maybe a table or a chair on this side. Tap it and then tap it on this side. So you stay down nice and low and you twist. Once you get this motion, then it will naturally um, give you the, the motion that you need to play a forehand topspin. The, the backswing, the rotation, the pivot on the forehand topspin. So it's a great little exercise to execute or practice to enable you uh, to have better backspin motion. Tip number two. I want you either to ask a friend to hold a jacket or a towel behind you, approximately one arm's distance, one arm and a bat distance, so like that, it's perfect, you can reach it. And this makes you conscious of the backswing because when you touch the towel, you know that you've brought your arm back. If you don't touch the towel, then you know you haven't had enough backswing. You can execute this exercise by either having a bucket next to you and you drop the ball like this, bring the arm back, top spin, top spin, top spin. Notice how I bring the arm back and you can see the jacket moving a little bit. Watch again. Or you can ask someone to feed the balls in for you, touch the jacket, and you top spin. It's uh, better for you if someone feeds it in a multi ball fashion to enable you to have a little bit of time to swing the arm back and twist, pivot, rotate, and then generate that heavy, powerful forehand top spin. Tip number three this is the most important part of the backswing. You must have your legs in the correct position. A lot of people, what they do is they stand too square, which means it's very difficult for them to rotate. And if you stand off square, then this is when you have the ability to rotate and generate that extra energy on the ball that we're looking for. If you watch any of the top players, they always generate energy from the legs. So this is how it should look like. Legs in this position, approximately a foot um, apart, backwards. My left leg, right handers would be the other way, the other, the other way around. And then I'm generating the energy from here. The weight is on my left leg and I pivot. Pivot, generate the energy. I have the ability to bring the arm back because my left leg is behind my right leg. I hope that helped you. Those three tips helped myself, it helps my players, and I really appreciate all your support. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to enable yourself to see further videos from myself on coachmeterpolis.com is my website and also I have a YouTube channel and Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Feel free to follow me and uh, of course share my videos. Thanks again.